Are you considering creating digital or printable products on Canva to resell on Etsy or other online marketplaces, but you don't really know like how to actually design the products? If so, stay tuned because today I'm gonna to be leading you through step-by-step -step exactly how to create a wedding invitation from scratch that you can create in Canva and resell over and over and over again on Etsy. So let's jump in. Welcome to our next design tutorial. And like I said in the intro of this video, we are going to be designing a wedding invitation that your customer can edit, customize, and print. So let's head on over to Canva. Canva is a free site. I do recommend if you are going to be creating content to resell like digital or printable products, uh, get the paid version, the premium version. It's I think $11.99 a month. It's well worth it. I've had it for a very long time and it's, it's just gives you so much more functions and features. So first thing that we're going to want to do before we actually start designing is we want to figure out in this case, what type of wedding invitation are we going to use? Because if we type in digital wedding invite, invite, you're going to see that we get 22,000. So this is where you need to do a little bit of pre-planning before you start designing and come up with a niche or a specific category or type of invite that your ideal customer is going to be specifically searching for based on keywords. So if we go into a couple of tools, like right now I'm using E-Rank. In this situation, I typed in Boho Wedding Invite Printable and my category would be Boho. So I can see here we have green for competition, which is good, right? That means there's not too much competition for Boho Printable Wedding Invites. You can see popular tags that are used, and then down here, I don't have the free version, so we can't see everything. But what we can see are Etsy competition and the search trends. So we're really looking for these keywords that are going to be green or yellow, because this means if they're green or yellow, you are more likely to come up when your ideal customer searches for your listing versus something like a wedding template there's over almost 400,000 other shops selling the same exact thing. So you're going to want to just search for, here's a really good one, Terracotta Wedding. Uh, if we keep looking, Desert Wedding, Boho Wedding Invite Set. So these are telling us that there are some room to have a successful listing. Next, if we go over to Etsy as we're doing our pre-planning and I have a Everbee extension that is free plugged in here that helps give me analytics. So I am at my Etsy shop right up here. And I, for another example, searched regular Etsy as a customer. I searched Boho Wedding Invite Printable. And you can see that this has on average 810 average favorites based on these keywords. $36 is the average price. And 15 monthly sales. Now let's kind of, I don't know how accurate, um, I think this is per shop that uses these, but if we can go and look at some of the most, um, popular ones here, let's just look through this one right here, this minimalistic wedding invite. This has made $2,337 in the last month in estimated revenue. It is a $20 printable invite and the listing has only been open for six months, which is fantastic. This means that in the past six months, this has been listed and has made $230,337 and had about 822 total sales. 
So this is a best seller. Now we can continue looking. And what we're really going to be looking for just for inspiration are the ones that are selling pretty well. So for example, this one that was a bestseller, you can see that it is brown natural colors and we're just doing research looking for what is going to be popular. So neutral colors, it is very minimalistic. It is not overwhelming. It's very simple. There uh, is a little bit of uh, script font, but most of it is going to be um, a good old standard font. You can also see all of their keywords that they put in the title. So botanical, downloadable, neutral. So this has been very popular um, in the past six months, which tells us that people want to buy a set that includes both the invitation, the details and RSVP, the front, the back, all of that. So this is a good one to kind of just keep in our mind as an example of what is working. Obviously, we would not copy them. Um, we would use that for inspiration and, and build our own thing. We don't copy here. We just do our research and look for inspiration. All right, here's another one that has had uh has made this one invite has made almost a little over fifteen hundred dollars in the past month and had six hundred and seventy seven sales um in a month period and the listing is only nine months old meaning it's a relatively new listing let's look at this one so again they have very neutral colors very boho stylized again this looks like it's a set so uh this sh shows exactly what is selling. So just know that this is how you can get inspiration for what is working. Now we're going to head back on over to Canva and we're going to start designing using some of that as inspiration. So I searched for digital wedding invite. There is tons of pre-made uh, templates that you can customize. So I'm going to just pick one. You can pick any one. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here and I'm going to name my file. Always remember, first step when you're doing a new creation is change the name of the file. Trust me on this one. This makes it easier for you to locate later on. So we're going to do a boho neutral wedding template. Perfect. Now we want to see, can we edit these at all? No. So we're going to do a few things. Um, we are going to find new images that are a little bit more neutral. So let's go over to elements and I'm going to leave the other ones on there for right now, just because I want to kind of use these for placement inspiration. So we're going to go to graphics and we're searching for neutral flowers. See what it gives us. Okay. So I see a few things that I'm starting to like. I like this rose. So I'm just going to place it. It's going to give you some recommendations. And I am going to check all because these are all going to be a little bit related to that one. So I'm also going to add this one. And I'm just layering them. We're going to move these here in a little bit. I'm just trying to get them on, on the paper. It's the same. Okay, perfect. Then we're going to go back. And I did see I like these little dots. Perfect. So. Now we have these on the page now, so we're going to uh, remove one icon. This is just how I do it. Um, we're going to add that just like that. We're going to go remove that guy and add in that guy. We're going to go up there. We're going to leave him because we're going to try to find a neutral color leaf or stem or something along those lines. We're going to remove that guy down there, move in this guy, and we're going to move it and rotate it by clicking on those little arrows and just editing it so we can change the size by clicking on the dot, moving it in or out. We're going to put that there. And again, we are going to edit these right now. We're just kind of using them for inspo. I'm going to go move that out of the way. Okay, so now we're going to still make some changes. Click on this element, click on position and send it to the back. We want it kind of in the background. We're gonna change this one. All right, we're gonna move this guy. I think I'm gonna move this one for to there and change the position, send it all the way to the back. 
Okay, move that up a little bit. We can change this later on. We are going to be changing and making changes to it. So don't worry, don't freak out. We're going to click on this uh, element and we're going to right click, click on the little duplicate out, um, icon and we're going to move it down there, remove the original. Once you do this a few times, you'll become pretty familiar with the placement. Um, I'm doing this just as a kind of beginner. Move it all the way to the back. Okay, and okay, we're gonna still do a few things here. So, searching for brown leaves. Let's see what we get like that. We are gonna clean this up because what we did see is that less is more. So I'm realizing I don't really there. That, and make another one of those. Bring her on down there. And we are gonna flip it. So click on those three little dots. We're gonna go up here to flip and just change it just a little bit. Okay, now we are going to do a few more things. Um, in inspiration of the kind of neutral, basic, um, minimalistic theme of the ones that are selling, I'm going to move the transparency bar so that these are a lot more muted. So we're gonna change it to 31. And these ones, we are also going to move the transparency bar to 31. Excellent. So this way, and I think those ones behind it, I'm going to leave those at 57. Just to create a little bit of variance. 57. All right. Now, we are going to change some of the fonts. Um, and in terms of copyright, you are able to resell this as your own or sell it as templates as long as you make an edit to it. So we've heavily edited this. Um, there's a few things that we can do here. We are going to look at the photo colors. So we're going to pull in the photo, the colors from these photos. So I really like this dark brownish color. So I'm just going to change some of them to the brown and I'm going to just make this a little bit bigger because that's my personal preference. I want people to know whose wedding it is. There we go. All right. Now it's not perfect yet. I'm going to go down here and I'm just going to change a few things. Then I'm just going to put in some final touches, just taken. Okay. And you can always use the copy style icon up here. It looks like a little paintbrush. It's going to take all of the settings that you use to customize this element. And you can click that and click this one down here to match it. So, all right. And that's that. Now, all we have to do is create a, so this is what I would use for the listing photos is something like this. I'd probably personalize this area um, so that it's not just one, two, three, anywhere street. I'd probably put like one, two, three, happy ever after in uh, St. Louis, Missouri or something along those lines. And I would use this for the listing photos and for any um, social media advertising or anything like that that you're using for it. Now, the one that you're going to sell, we would go to file, make a copy, and this is the one that your customers would be able to go in and edit. So I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna go customer facing. And I'm just gonna let the customer know where they need to edit. Name, bride, broom, month, date, day of week, Time, location. Of course, you need to name and email address or phone number, and then wedding location info address. Okay, and that's that. So what we would do then is we would share this and have people have the ability to edit it by clicking share and clicking template link and then copying that. And then once what you can do is you can add this link to a PDF that you upload to Etsy. 
where they click on this and it brings them right to here. They have to make their own copy, they edit it, and off they go. So that is my tutorial on creating Etsy digital and printable based wedding invitations. Pick your theme, create one, create many, many more, see what works, do test runs, and just don't give up. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this design tutorial. If so, subscribe, comment, like, do all those things. But most importantly, go down below, check out my Etsy success guide. It gives you step-by-step -step exactly how to create digital and printable products. It is a 27 page workbook and there's even homework. Or let me know down below what type of design tutorials you would be interested in and I will get you on my list. That's it for today. Thanks so much for watching and take care. Bye-bye.